numbers is different. The curve you're in, nothing's occurred, nothing's changed. Numbers continue to rise. Let's be honest, guys. I mean, the reality that uh, we went down the curve here Hey, choking slow my form for the YouTube people. The government is pushing ahead with ensuring people that. can prove they've been vaccinated. It's revealed how a person's status will be displayed on the service New South Wales. Come on. Oh, but I suppose about those two, I suppose. For the people on the YouTube channel, to see if I get lucky. <sighs> Munch good. You hungry, sweetie? Come on. dedicated bus is traveling across the Goulburn Valley looking to vaccinate Victorians who can't make it to a hub. Even that one person that can be vaccinated but that can't come to a hub, it makes a world of difference. Today, Shepparton recorded another four cases, but for regional areas that have seen few or no cases, the government's again flagged restrictions are likely to be eased this week. It shouldn't be seen as a snapback to where we were, say, in April or May. But certainly recognition that the chance of transmission in regions are different. At 246 new cases, the state's recorded its highest number of daily infections in more than a year, with the majority again in Melbourne's north and west. This is a, uh, a pandemic of the young essential workers and the unvaccinated, with 83% of all those new cases in the last 24 hours being aged under the age of 50. But with months to go until 80% of Victorians are fully vaccinated, more financial support has been placed to help renters. One of the payments of up to fifteen hundred dollars will be available, but only for those who have lost more than twenty percent of their income and pay more than thirty percent of their wage and rent. There's also more for emergency hotel accommodation. We are hearing from renters that they are at broken point. From tomorrow, year twelve students will receive priority vaccination, and there's been plenty of interest with 30,000 calls to the booking hotline in three hours. I want to stay safe from the virus and I guess trying to do my part for the community. But experts say more kids need to be vaccinated before Christmas. If we can vaccinate children, we help lift our herd immunity of the whole population. As the state races to get more Victorians vaccinated, authorities are reaching out to more local communities, such as here in Newport, from tomorrow, this mosque will become a vaccination hub with on-site translators and Arabic-speaking doctors. The reason why it's so positive is that the online bookings just went off like hotcakes. People just booked in in droves, and I think I went on the website earlier and it's all just booked out. Australia's arts and music communities. This is cruising and the story is, if we all do this, we can all have so our lives back. Slow. Elsewhere, a different kind of messaging is being enforced. Authorities have fined social media influencer Better. Nadia Bartel $5,500 for breaking lockdown rules at this Richmond party. Police are still investigating alleged drug use. Leanne Wong, ABC News, Melbourne.